Hi guys, I hope uh, last week's education went really well for you with the leadership team goals and visions. On to a slightly drier topic this week, but it's really super important we position what the leadership team does and their role. So A, that we hold the leadership team accountable, but also the rest of the um, group understands what you're putting in on top of um, what a normal member does, so they appreciate that. So this week's just about leadership team roles, pretty simple one um, and pretty easy to roll through, but a little bit dry, so you might have to pep it up a bit. Um, and so you've got a PowerPoint, a uh, pretty simple PowerPoint this week. And so just to review page one, and then a, a bit of a quiz about um, what are the leadership team roles is, and that's supposed to be funny. And then page second, um, third page is the president. So just running through what the president does. And with this education, anything that your group isn't doing as part of this, you need to edit these slides. So you'll see later on there's some things you might need to add in or take out that your leadership teams agreed to do. And hopefully you've already had your first leadership team meeting so you know exactly what each person's carrying out. Um, so the president, just it's just very easy just to go through those, those things and just expand on them. You'll see I've done a separate video um, actually presenting this that you can look at. Um, not a great job, I have to say, but um, it took exactly five minutes, so I went through it pretty fast. So it is a five minute presentation, so you probably haven't got a lot of time to really um, expand any further. Uh, vice President, so again, pretty simple, record the palms, present, presents the Vice President's report, and that President's report should be every week, the Vice President's report, they should be bringing up information. Um, the Education Coordinator, that's you, so um, the group doesn't need to know that you're getting secret squirrel information through that you're working from, um, you can get the, take the credit for that. And obviously you've got to organise the weekly speaker and make sure they bring a door prize that isn't a bottle of wine or a lunch. Um, something appropriate to the business and you've got to introduce the weekly speaker. Visitor host, really, really important. So I would spend a bit of time on this slide um, because we want to commit our visitor hosts to doing, doing this process and this is especially a slide where you need to take out what your visitor hosts are or aren't doing. But the second uh, line there is be at the meeting at XX time, so you need to put in the time. Your visitor host will always be at the meeting. So we're putting them on the spot. If they say they're going to be there at 6.45, they should be out front at 6.45 until the meeting starts, not running around the room talking to other members. They should be up front whether there's visitors or not. And that tells the group that um, we want visitors too. There's a lot more on that I could go on for um, a long time. Secretary Treasurer, this is not done well. Um, that You'll see the report each week on how much money the chapter has and what it is needed for. Don't talk about breakfast costs, it's a venue cost. Don't talk about it's a breakfast fee, it's a chapter fee and they should prepare a budget to make sure the group's got enough money and it should be every week so the group knows how much money it's got because it's your money. Um, so there's a few more things on that slide. New member mentor, hopefully your group's got one. If not, delete the slide. Um, that's a booklet that the director should have given you that the new member mentor um, will use but the new member mentor, if you've got one, should be meeting with new members within a week and that's to get everyone to a basic understanding of BI rather than waiting for MSP, which might be two, three, six weeks down the road and they've lost, um, they've been taught by bad members, bad habits. Um, we've been using that in my groups now for over a year and it's really, really helped. Uh, social media coordinator, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, don't have a lot to say about that. Events coordinator, again, uh, events is usually done fairly badly. Um, there's obviously some outstanding events, but they should be standing up each week and saying, we're doing this, that and the other, I need this many people to do it, we're going to, it's going to cost that much. Not having a committee meeting about um, events saying, oh, we could do this, we could do that, any feedback. Um, so they should come up with a program with a leadership team, talk to the treasurer about a budget, budget and have a program going forward and talk about the BNI events that are on, like MSP. Uh, membership committee, um, second to last slide. People don't really understand what membership committee is. Overseas, it's a separate committee altogether made up of experienced members, where our membership committees tend to be, um, the vice president may be experienced and one or two of the visitor hosts are, but quite often we bring new people into the team through the visitor hosts. So asking them to sit on a membership committee is a bit of a stretch, but um, they uh, meet when there's a problem, basically. If things are straightforward, they don't need to meet, but if they've got a problem where you don't want someone to renew, or you've got a problem around category clash or, um, the quality of the applicant, then they may need to meet to, to 
decide if they're going to have, have let that person join. And also they've got to make sure the attendance has been followed, that the um, people aren't late continually, all that sort of stuff. So they've got to reach out and help people that are doing that. So it can be uh, in a group with problems, it can be quite a serious thing. Um, some groups they'll never meet, oddly enough. So lastly, um, the leadership team worked together to help the group meet, meet, the, meet its goals. So last week we talked about the goals. So the leadership team is responsible for helping the group achieve them. And then they also make the president look good and in doing so they make themselves look good in front of the group. So it gives you more airtime in front of the group. Um, and that's it.